This is Caleb Chen from Private Internet Access, and today I am speaking with Jose Blaya, the Mobile Department Manager at Private Internet Access, about some of the newest features and functions added to the Private Internet Access mobile client. Jose, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. We're very excited to have you. Hi, Caleb. I'm happy to be here. Very happy to have you as well. So firstly, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and the steps in your career that led you to your current position? Yeah, of course. So I started very young programming. So I remember like 20, 25 years ago is when I created my first website. So I have been always interested on on the internet and programming, etc. And I have I have experience in different in different markets. So for example, in the past I have been working in the hospitality industry on finance, but. I, I always was seeking to make a big impact on the, on the customer of the product where I'm working. And, and PIA gave me the opportunity of working a company, doing something good for the users. And, you know, while other companies with big names, they, they put all their efforts trying to get as more information from the user as possible. Here at PIA, we are protecting the users. We, we give them privacy and we we try to make them feel secure while browsing on the internet. And I think that's something very important and that's uh, one of the reasons why, why I joined the company at PIA. Uh, it's very admirable. So here's a quick one. Do you <laughs> prefer light mode or dark mode? That, that, that's a very, a very good question because I, I have been always a very fan of the, of the light mode. But, but recently, in the, in the last months or the last two months, I, I changed completely to the dark mode. And I don't know if because I'm maybe I'm getting, I'm getting old, but I think that my Oculus is going to appreciate the, the change because, mm -hmm. because now I, I, I can read better the, the, all the documents and why I'm pure gun. So. Got it. So um, speaking about the mobile client, why was the creation of open source repositories for all of the PIA's apps and clients such an important milestone? Yeah, I, I, I think one of the most important uh, PIA values for me is the transparency. And make a be able of our, our code in, the, in all the department of PIA and make a be able the code of our apps for everyone is a, is a proof of that. And we, we think that trust is very important and this is the reason why we want to share the, our, our code with, with the open source community. So what is involved in maintaining the open source code for PIA's Android and iOS apps? Yeah, to, to be honest with you, it doesn't change too much the way we work because we are always thinking that our code is going to be open source. But you know, it requires more time because sometimes because you need to, to, resolve, uh, to resolve tickets, and you need to answer questions. Sometimes they, you know, different user raise different tickets with different questions, and every user has different configuration, and every question is different. So you need to spend some time with them. But it's a very rewarded experience uh, because you get feedback from them. And I don't know personally, it's, uh, it's very rewarded when they create a pull request uh, and they improve your code, or when someone fork your code. I think that sounds very, very good. Mm -hmm. And it's not possible without open source. <laughs> so what is your favorite feature on the PIA mobile app? Uh, yeah, my, my favorite feature of the of PIA is the per app settings. And this is something that we only have it on desktop and Android uh, and not on iOS, for example, because by, lim by a limitation of the Apple SDK, we can't uh, configure this feature on, on Apple devices, but it's a very, it's a very powerful feature. And, and it's one of the features that I'm most proud as a PIA employee, because we are the only VPN company supporting the three major uh, desktop platforms. And our implementation is very easy, easy to use, and it, it has the most functionality in the, in the market. So, all PIA mobile apps recently added WireGuard support. Why should people check it out and consider using it? Yeah, so, so WireGuard is a, is a VPN protocol 
and where has, has been designed to offer significant improvement in the VPN speed and without compromising the user security that this is this is something that is very important and I recommend to all of our PIA users to, to try it out because they will see a huge improvement with respect to open VPN protocol and for example here that we talk more about mobile uh, I want to mention one of the key features from WireGuard for mobile apps that is called roaming in their, in their protocol. And this means that the VPN will stay connected when you switch between different networks conditions. So for example, and with OpenVPN or with IPsec, or with IPsec uh, if you are at home with your Wi-Fi and you go out and you need to switch to mobile data, the VPN needs to reconnect to establish a new VPN connection. With WireGuard and this roaming feature, the VPN will stay connected, so it doesn't need to, to reconnect. And this is a, an advantage because, for example, sometimes you enter in a, in a tunnel or you are somewhere that you don't have internet connection. And with other protocols, the VPN, what it's going to try to do is to try to reconnect and reconnect and reconnect. And after some attempts, we are going to give up and we are going to disconnect the VPN because it's, we, we think that you don't have internet connection. But with WireGuard, you are going to stay connected and you will be sure that after you recover your internet connection, you will stay connected. So you don't need to reconnect manually. And on top of this, uh, Android is implementing WireGuard as a native VPN protocol in their next version, in Android 12, that is going to be available next year, I think. Um, what this means uh, is that Warga is going to have more support from the from, from major players as, as Google. Probably iOS and Apple at some point they will they will add Warga as a native protocol as well. And what this means is that the the battery performance and the battery efficient is going to be better when using a native protocol from the system. Looking forward to that. <laughs> so you mentioned uh, the core app settings and how they are the most proud feature as a PIM employee. Could you explain mm -hmm. a little bit more about what those are? Yeah, uh, perhaps setting is uh, to, to understand what what that feature does. It's very is very simple. Uh, it's a feature that allows you to decide which apps use the VPN and which apps don't when your device is connected to the, to the VPN. Hmm. So what is your favorite example use of the per app setting? So uh, one good example, and it's an example of something that happened to, to me. Uh, for example, I use a, a mobile app for a bank that this app uh, doesn't allow you to connect to the bank uh, while connected to a VPN. So with per app setting, you can decide that you don't want to use the VPN while using the bank so, for example, I will be protected, and even if I'm receiving a message or something in the background is happening on the device, everything that is happening inside that specific app is not going to be through the VPN tunnel, but I will, I will be protected for the other data in the background. Could you explain how to use the network settings in the PIA app? Yeah, of course. And, and I have to recognize that this is a feature that has been very, very hard to explain to our users in the in the past. And I hope to solve all the possible questions that they, they could have today. Uh, this feature allows the user to, to configure how the VPN will react to different VPN conditions. So for example, we can decide to connect the VPN when you use the mobile data on your work Wi-Fi but disconnect the VPN when you arrive home. And this is possible with this feature, and it doesn't require uh, the user to interact with the app to connect or disconnect the VPN. Because if you have this feature enabled, and when the VPN is disconnected because one of the, one of the configuration that you, that you set, uh, the VPN will still run in the background, and will know that you are in a condition that you want to activate the VPN. So it will connect and disconnect the VPN without the user, user interaction. And I think that's very powerful because the user can forget about open the app and click the button or disconnect the button. They configure the rules 
and they can forget about. They can be as protected as they want at all times. Mm -hmm. So what other capabilities, like setting the port, might users not know they have um, with their phone's VPN app? Uh, yeah, this, uh, this is a very good question. Um, I, I remember recently that I received a, an email from, from one of the users and they didn't know that we offer a ad blocker with our app. Um, and, and I think this is something that not too many users know. Uh, for example, on the iOS app, if you go to the OS settings and you go to Safari, you can configure the ad blocker and you can set up, you can set PIA as the ad blocker. So we can, we will block all the ads in the in the device. Same with the desktop apps. So we offer, it's called Maze on, on desktop and they can find it on the on the desktop app. And in Android, uh, if they download the version of the app from our website, from the PIA website, they can use Maze as well. And I think this is a feature that they may, probably not too many users know that we have. Could you tell us a little bit about the next gen VPN network? Uh, yes. So uh, recently we were working on our on our new server infrastructure, and we are we are very proud of the work of the work we did. The the team behind that uh, did an amazing job. Um, for example, we changed from one gigabyte card to ten gigabyte card in all the regions. So this means better speeds. Uh, we have now more servers uh, and the code behind is completely new and the performance of the CIGI protocol that we support, uh, IPsec, OpenVPN and WireGuard is much, much better than before. So if you, if you have used PIA before of, the, of, of NextGen, uh, you will see the difference by a lot. Uh, so I, recom I recommend to, to all of our users, if they if they didn't to change to, to next gen. What new things can viewers expect to see coming to the PIA mobile apps? <laughs> so we, we have a, a lot of new cool features in our, in our backlog, but, but I will be killed if I tell you what <laughs> we're releasing next. <laughs> so uh, what I can say is that uh, we are improving right now our TV apps. So we're making improvement on the Android TV app, you know, our Amazon TV app. Uh, we're improving the, the user experience uh, for, for our clients. We're trying to improve the tiles, uh, how you interact with the app, uh, try, trying to remove some extra steps that the user needs to take to perform some actions. So we're, we are trying to improve that. Um, for example, one of the, of the next features that we're going to release uh, and this is related with one of the questions that you asked me before. Uh, we want to expand, expand the, the network settings feature and we want to include uh, DNS automation. So lastly, while we've talked about a lot of specific technical app-related things today, let's end on a more general note. What is something that you are looking forward to? So. I, I'm really excited about everything that we have in our in our backlog in the future for for PIA. And I think our our user will be very happy with everything we will announce in the in the in the coming months. And yeah, I want to use the, this question to say to say thank you to all to all our mobile users. <laughs> and I want to say thank you for their feedback and for all the reviews that they leave that they leave in the in the App Store, all the comments. And we. We really appreciate the, their help. And as always, I encourage them to write us with feedback, suggestions. So we will keep, keep trying to improve their, their experience of the, of the mobile apps. Uh, um, we, we need them. We need our users to, to tell us what they think about the feature and how they, how they feel using, using the, the features. Thank you to the users. That's it for the questions today. Thanks, Jose, for joining us. To our viewers, You're if welcome. you'd like to check out the PIA mobile app on Android or iOS, please check out the links below. Thank you for watching this Privacy News Online special feature. Make sure you subscribe to see more interviews like this, as well as the top privacy news stories from around the world. Till the next time.